Okay, what is going on guys? So uh, this is not quite the video I was planning on making right now, but uh, it's looking like it uh, has to be done. Here's the situation. It is currently almost midnight. Project filming was scheduled to be done today, but as I'm sure you guys are familiar with uh, all you procrastinators out there, sometimes things take a little bit longer than expected. Currently in the building phase, make another cool little gadget from the Black Panther movie. Probably the last one I'm gonna make um, just because I've kind of done so many in the past. Uh, but I'll tell you what it is, just uh, I guess kind of a little update. Here's the device that we've got so far. And pretty much what it is, if you guys remember, the scene where the Black Panther drops out of the airplane and throws these like cool little discs that glow blue um, and eventually go and stop the truck. Don't freeze. I never freeze. That's pretty much what this is going to be. going to glow blue. It doesn't really look like it at the moment, but uh, this is just a prototype. And what this does, uh, it's actually a small little EMP device. Pretty much creates a very strong magnetic field for a fraction of a second. Um, the frying electronic devices. I figured it'd be a cool way to integrate some destructive capabilities into the little uh, disc thing that he throws. Honestly, I really have no idea what the hell that is. So yeah, that's what this is going to be. Here's just a quick like little montage of uh, what I've gotten so far. Pretty much used a disposable camera, took out the capacitor, using the charging circuit to charge it up, wired up a switch, um, used some uh, magnetic insulation wire, two inch diameter circle, uh, and yes, yeah, hopefully gonna be something we can like put near something, click a button, and uh, yeah, stuff will break. Oh yeah, it's gotta glow blue too, to look like the one in the movie. But uh, yeah, haha. <laughs> Ow. Uh, yeah, didn't happen. Works, works a little bit. Here's a quick little test I'm gonna show you. So as you can see, we've got this guitar tuner right here. So I can make certain tones. Uh, you know, tunes the instruments. But if we go ahead and grab our device right here uh, and put it near the guitar tuner and then press the button. And three, two, one. As you can see, it shuts off uh, because of the magnetic pulse that uh, this device just sent. So that's where we're at with that. So yeah, I guess that's technically how to build an EMP device. Um, so there's some educational value out of this video. A couple turns of copper wire inside of a plastic little disc with a camera capacitor flash and momentary push button. I'm gonna take this time to also update you for uh, upcoming projects as well. Currently traveling tomorrow, gonna be in Florida for a couple days. Hit me up if you guys are there. Probably already there when uh, this video comes out. Uh, but yeah, in the future, as you guys may know, the uh, new Avengers Marvel movies coming out. Let's go. Tons of crazy gadgets from that. So yeah, we are going to heavily focus on that. Already started to do one project from that. Thanos is Infinity Gauntlet, semi-prototype metal glove. Here's just a quick clip of that. on can't come off really and then we just uh, layer the glove over top this just like that 
So yeah, looking pretty cool, not too bad. Just kind of testing the waters with that. Uh, but I think we can make it a lot better. So in the future, I'm hoping to add a ton of like powers to that glove. So yeah, leave your ideas in the description of uh, cool stuff I could make from the new Avengers movie. As always guys, follow me on Instagram. Uh, link below to stay more updated with stuff I'm doing because uh, honestly like I probably could have thrown something together from this like it technically works But recently I've been happy with uh, the stuff that I've been uploading even though it has been a little bit less frequent I know in the past I've really pushed to upload at certain deadlines every single time um, Regardless sometimes of the quality like I don't want to say I didn't like this stuff of I was uploading before because I did the best job I could for the time period that I was given. But that being said, sometimes some of the videos weren't up to the quality that I know they could have been had I had more time. So in the future, I think I'm gonna try to make more of an effort to upload uh, higher quality projects. Hopefully you guys appreciate that and uh, keep coming back and uh, watching what's next. Cause uh, trust me guys, there is a lot to come. Especially when summer comes around out of school, full-time YouTube, let's go. Um, so yeah, obviously make sure you're subscribed so uh, you don't miss out on any of that. So that's pretty much uh, been this little short video, just a little update, so take it easy, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.